Howdy, welcome to a setup video here for the warm air balloon. And uh, this prop is more nuanced than in previous years props. So this, that's why I'm gonna to try to do a video for this one. And uh, let me see if I can switch this over here. This was the uh, packaging, or this is how we package it up at night. We cover it with tarps uh, to protect it from condensation and from the sprinkler system. Uh, parts of it are cardboard, uh, and so you know, that stuff just doesn't do well with moisture. So basically we have the, uh, the, the main body part covered with tarps, and then we use ladders uh, at the bottom to weight it down because those ladders are also helpful during the rest of the setup. Uh, the balloon itself, yeah, as I leave it up there, uh, it can be detached each day. I'm just trying to save steps. Okay, so let's attempt to show how to do the setup. So basically we have uh, clamps that hold the tarps down. I've removed the ladders, I've set them to the side because we're going to be using them a little bit later. Okay, so now let's go over, that was the easy part. Uh, it's basically a two person job. It can be done with one person as you saw just a moment ago. It just takes a little bit more time. Now let's go over some of the finer points. Um, so in front, I have this stand. I, I leave it set in a neutral, like a horizontal uh, position overnight, just because it, seems to fit better with the tarps. Um, so I have this stand uh, uh, to help keep it in the neutral position. Uh, basically I just, uh, let's see, wrapped the um, descent lines around the, the top uh, to hold that in place. I don't want it to just fall off. Okay, and next we are going to lower it down to fully down position. That just makes it easier to reach the balloon while it's being inflated. So let me do that real quick. Oh yeah, we also have a stand here that I will move in front. <sighs> Let me see if I can catch this. So, um, 
this little stand here, I have a mark on the ground where to put it. I placed it so that it clears the front little uh, vertical pieces. This stand isn't really necessary. I just like to use it to reduce. Uh, without it, um, this uh, horizontal piece would rest against the A-frame. And so I just like that extra little pad, uh, spacing down below. Because um, otherwise there's an additional stress point here which I did not give much consideration for. Okay, so the uh, basket is in the down position. Uh, let me break the video and then do the balloon separately. Actually, before I do that, I just wanted to show... So for the counterbalance, uh, because the basket does actually have some weight, I'm using about four bricks plus. I have uh, like a piece of iron railroad track up there. Uh, I plan to remove that and replace it with probably about five more bricks. And that would be to get the neutral position. So, I mean, as you can see, this is like hand weight. You can easily move the whole thing up and down with that level of counterbalance. So it's important to be aware of what the uh, neutral counterbalance weight is. Okay, let's break here. <laughs> 